welcome to your most favorite channel heartbeat my name is dr amrit kejriwal this channel is mainly meant for mba students post graduates medical professionals and all those who may find it bit more easy it is an attempt to make the complicated medical sciences more simplified and easier for understanding today we will discuss about the ocular movements channel's name is heartbeat my name is dr amrit kejriwal we'll discuss the vertical movements of the eye this is the right eye this is the left eye this is the midline or the nasal septum pupils iris the eyes have been deliberately distorted it will give us a better understanding of extortion and torsion which will be discussed later on so this is the downward movements of the eyes conjugate simultaneous and this is the upward movements of the eyes this is the medial rotation of the right eye and lateral rotation of the left eye both simultaneous and this is the lateral rotation of the right eye and medial rotation of the left eye now this is the side place where we get confusion for simplicity i am only discussing the left eye and not discussing the right eye at all at this time now in torsion when the upper pole moves medially will you call it extortion in torsion and but at the same time the lower pole moves outwards will you call it extortion so is this in torsion or is it extortion Similarly, when the upper pole moves outward, will you call this extortion, or will you call this intorsion? So, will you call this extortion, or will you call this intorsion? There's a lot of confusion about this. So, from the center of the pupil, you draw a vertical line, and if this line moves medially. it is called in torsion and if it moves externally away from the nasum it is called extortion so just let us see so the line moves towards the nasal side so this is called in torsion from the vertical line moves towards the nasal side it is called in torsion similarly for extortion the vertical line moves outside so it's torsion now this is the conjugate movements of the right eye the eyes can move simultaneously in the clockwise direction or in the anti clockwise direction they can move in the circular direction clockwise completely or anti clockwise but they will move simultaneously now let us see one of the impossible movements both the eyes are moving in opposite directions and this is to be considered as a movement which is not possible in the normal eyes